Je me suis dit que 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 je et mes filles sont les It's, it's your relationship, it's, it's your custom, it's your language, it's your culture, everything. So it's where you get everything from and that's, that's why we say it's life. And in some of the languages in Vanuatu, in some of the customs in Vanuatu, land to them is the mother. Most of us are not at Fadu, when we got crown from the walk, we praise God to my strong hand. From crown, God, and we create them. We put to me, human being, to look out them crown here. Si vos familia está en trabajo, no sabe lo que es. Pero no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Pero yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el Salem Crown. Yo no sabe lo que es el We are not resource rich like Papua New Guinea. We are not resource rich like Solomon Islands in other parts of the world. The only resource that we have is our land. Now that there is this trend of people selling land left, right and centre, it's frightening because where else could they fall back to? There is nothing that they can fall back to. Because in Vanuatu, our only safety net is the land. You finish from your job, employed job, in, in Port Vila or in a way where you work, there is always the land to go back to. Now that if the, all the land is, is leased out or is, is given out for business purposes, there is no way that you can fall back to if, if you finish from a paid job. I see the land, uh, the land uh, issues here are very threatening and uh, really frightening because I know Uh, we're, we're, we're walking towards the end of the cliff. There's been a lot of land dealings going on in our village and uh, I wonder what the uh, people who are involved, if they know what the real situation is inside the village. We've got uh, quite a big number of population, like uh, mo most of this uh, uh, big population are like young people, but uh, It's frightening to, to, to see the current uh, uh, state which we are in because it's, it's, it's likely that a lot of these young people will be landless or are already landless. We have quite a number of land given out to foreigners. So and then when our young people come back from school or go to school with the intention of coming back and doing something for uh, the community or themselves and their family, They wouldn't be able to do that because there's just not enough land to, to do all this work. All this place has a plan, like uh, we've got a physical plan, planning uh, section in the village that looks at uh, which land could be sold and which land should be left. But uh, I think a lot of land is, is uh, intended to be sold, but the thing is, uh, Because the people are so quiet about the whole situation, so these things are happening really slow. But soon enough, we'll be seeing a lot of uh, these changes because the uh, white man is coming in big numbers every day. They come in the name of development and in investing in Vanuatu and uh, buying huge tracts of land 
Sometimes they say that it's for agricultural purposes. Sometimes it's for the building hotels and all that stuff. Those things, they never come to reality. And what happens is that when they do this, when they get a piece of land, they just subdivide the whole thing up, sell it off, and they go. This guy really tricked the people here. He purchased it for somewhere up close to 69 million. And then he subdivided the whole area. He ended up with 35 plots altogether. And then he's selling one plot for like uh, close to 75 million. And uh, he's never finished the first payment, like the premium. He, he, he's never finished that payment up until now. And then now he's, he's nearly sold. He's probably sold off all these uh, plots of land already. And he's walking away with uh, somewhere around like 2.5 billion. There has been a land grab on the coastal areas of Rafate and the coastal areas of Santo, the two main places where the coastal strip has been subdivided and sold as real estate. Um, I would say that's a land grab done by real estate companies, most of them foreign owned, real estate companies from Australia and so on, based in Vanuatu to do that, to sell real estate to Australians basically. But you, you've got to remember that the, most of the land that is being leased now and in the last five years has been leased, is land leased to New Vanuatu families to live on. So it's important to realize that most of the land that is being put under lease now is actually for New Vanuatu families in and around Port Vila, Santo, other areas. And it's for family homes, you know, first family home for a family. Plant the crown where you've been go out, Lord friends, my British government, one time will come on this floor hall. You know, been come back after independence. All crown now, they call him some more. I need that crown. Now, no, for not to make up one blood low, and me look, 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 this blood kind crown. Yeah, only call him land reform act. Uh, land reform act now, and me, and me tell him some. Uh, all alienated crown. Yeah, any, any investors where me come from not to today, and me interest any alienated crown, and me survey of life from. Oh, and me open, plus I have a make a money decision with them one landowner. Okay, when me open, plant the little crown low. I mean, all, um, all alienated crown of Anadu. Uh, government and Mr. Uh, Emi, Emi Ricardo Mokoto, some multi sweet land. You know, all you know, Catalonia Siblem. But really, all crown here before French company come, you got all owners' plem, all custom owners' plem, all, all land owners' plem, before British and French to come. Time to talk to me, come down and say, crown here, you got dispute long hem. Me find them say, oh, now you make them dispute, me want them savvy. So time thing thing me come and up, tell them say government and me been salem. Mo emi no government, emi no right block of man blo salem crown blo me. You got one man, eight on no more emi salem. So me got right blo talem all same. Man eight on emi salem lo one white man, emi go to lo government, government emi give him right say man ya emi got right blo make him walk. But me no been take him one benefit, me no been take him one far to inside lo crown blo me. I found in my brief time as lands minister, I was lands minister for three weeks, I found that it's basically unmanageable. There's too much stuff that's happening that shouldn't be happening. There are too many processes not in place, too many uh, opportunities for the interests of landowners and the interests of uh, people who want to have a lease, for, for the interests of people to be just sidelined. There's a lot of chaos in terms of huge backlog of unregistered land transactions, huge backlog of court cases against the government, against different landowners. I went in and the first thing I did as the Minister of Lands was just stop everything. And so we can't purport to be doing, uh, to be approving land transactions that are in the interests of the nation when we don't know what we're doing. So we just need to stop everything. And look back at everything again and a lot of laws need to be changed, a lot of policies need to be changed, a lot of work needs to be done in review and reform and so I was hoping that we, we could do that uh, as efficiently as possible and also uh, in a way that would not be seen to be uh, damaging the interests of so-called investors or landowners or what but at least uh, we could uh, just start stopping any more damage happening? Now, the Vanuatu, he got some like eight owners. All two, he's a support them all land program of Vanuatu. Uh, 
minimum sem oli sapote mol o list program o land list program na sambla lo o lo hit program sa o money we sakam lo overseas or to find them some land reform program do for no do or to sambla land reform program ya holy advice some government do for no do but tell them you must call them he must put him crown blue equal registration something awesome so naya government do for no do he me take him some he me he me he me take him some advice lo o said uh said you talking uh final to government that you must register him crown any crown he me still stop remain lo custom crown he must register him he me go he me come on legal crown he me come he me i only legalize him crown from now only lo talk to block that only talk to him suppose any crown he me still stop your custom and by negative development most of the businesses around here and, and the residential areas around uh, this island and in Vanuatu as a whole are Australians. And uh, OSAID is f supporting the land reform program for Vanuatu. Uh, they call it land, Vanuatu Land Sector Framework. And that's where the Mama Crown comes under. And OSAID is funding that. And the whole purpose of this program is to get your land leased out, registered, Got a proper title and then so that you can maximize profit. The basic flaw in the conceptualization of Mama Ground is that it, it purports to implement the resolutions of the Land Summit, but in fact only picks up about a quarter of them selectively. Uh, so, first of all, the, the uh, Mama Ground, if it, if it wants to be seen to be implementing the resolutions of the Land Summit, it needs to look at them all as a package. You can't remove one from the other and develop one and not do the other one. Um, the other thing about Mama Ground, which is not necessarily a feature of Mama Ground as a program, but a feature of all donor-funded programs, is that I don't think uh, the government has the capacity to make sure it happens in the terms of what people of Vanuatu want or need. Uh, that's because, on the one hand, um, the civil servants in the bureaucracy uh, don't necessarily act in the interests of the public, and we've seen that with the Ministry and Department of Lands in particular. So if these are the people that are interacting with OSAID in directing the program, then we're in trouble. Now, yeah, you may experience um, some land where you can come out law. Village, some village. Now, yeah, but you know, some go inside the yard, the uh, man where me, the same crown, yeah? you know, I try to go inside. Or whether you want to close the water, you know, some go close the water. So, I mean, our main thing, thing, blow me, blah, say, me, blah, you know, one time stranger, the village, blow me, blah, back. Or me, blah, you know, one time poor, blow, walk, blow, man, where he come, the same crown, blow me, blah, back. Blah, you know, one time, say, me, blah, no more, you feel free, blow, area, blow me, blah. It doesn't make me feel happy at all to see a white man come into my place and fence off our land or uh, put some big uh, fancy notice and telling us to ask permission before we go into this place because it's like it's our land that's where we walk that's where we we, we find our food that's where we we live now yeah you got plenty of money to sell them crown we feel like no agri plus sell them one piece crown level the village from you because one village say you want them negotiate with them one of the man outside. Suppose you come to the village, uh, you must pass through them for the last time. Suppose if I find them say by cut one way where I affect them in the future, by me for I stop them. Uh, unless the community agree with them. Yes, suppose me for I look say okay, okay. Suppose say. So now, yeah, I got some crown with at least up time, but I'm going to block them. I believe that if this is not sorted out, it's going to turn out 
nasty. A lot of big young people, especially on this island, are frustrated because they've come to realize that they no longer have access to the resources that their fathers once have, that their grandfathers once have, and there is anger growing in there. So it's 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 a it's a dime bomb, I should say.